Imagine that someone from a distant galaxy fired a projectile toward our solar system millions of years ago. This projectile traveled through the cosmic void, crossed trillions of kilometers of empty space, passed through gravitational fields of unknown stars, and is now arriving here. But here's the impossible part. This projectile is aiming with surgical precision at a coin-sized target in a cosmic football field. Not only that, in the middle of the journey, the projectile made a subtle course correction, as if it had intergalactic GPS, to ensure it would hit exactly where it should. This should be physically impossible, but it's exactly what's happening right now. On November 23rd, the famous Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb revealed something that is leaving the scientific community completely perplexed. An object called 3I Atlas, which literally came from another solar system, is doing something that defies all known laws of probability and physics. This cosmic projectile is traveling toward Jupiter and will make its closest approach on March 16th, 2026, less than four months from now. More than 230 observatories around the world are tracking this object as if it were the most important event in modern astronomy. And they have reason to be obsessed. To understand why this is so extraordinary, imagine the following space scenario. Jupiter has a special gravitational zone of influence, like an invisible capture zone around the giant planet. Within this zone, Jupiter can capture objects and keep them orbiting. Outside of it, the sun is too powerful and pulls everything away. This zone has a very specific size, 33.24 million miles radius on March 16th, 2026. Now, calculations show that 3I Atlas will pass by Jupiter at exactly 33.21 million miles distance. The difference, only 35,000 miles out of a total of 33 million. It's as if someone from Andromeda had thrown a stone at Earth and hit a specific coin on the floor of Maracana Stadium. The probability of this happening by chance is 0.004%. It should happen only one time out of every 26,000 attempts. But here's where the story goes from impossible to completely insane. When we observe objects in space, they follow predictable trajectories, like cosmic cannonballs. Once fired, they follow a path determined by gravity. But 3i Atlas isn't doing this. It's showing signs of non-gravitational acceleration, as if it had small thrusters making micro-adjustments to the trajectory. Scientists measured this mysterious force and discovered that it changed the object's path by 62,000 miles. And this 62,000 mile change is exactly the correction needed to hit Jupiter's target, it's as if the cosmic projectile had a navigation system that made a course correction in the middle of its interstellar journey to ensure maximum precision. The zone where 3I Atlas is heading isn't just anywhere. It's where Jupiter's Lagrange points are located, the premium parking spots of the solar system. Imagine this. If you were an alien space engineer and wanted to place probes or satellites around Jupiter, spending the minimum fuel possible, these points would be your ideal locations it's exactly where we humans place our spacecraft when we want to park in space. The James Webb Telescope is at one of these points between Earth and the Sun. Four explanations for the impossible. Faced with this situation that defies logic, scientists are debating four theories. You need to hear the fourth one. One, calculation error. The first possibility is that our calculations are simply wrong. Maybe there's some gravitational effect we're not considering adequately, or maybe our measurements have some systematic error. The problem with this explanation is that NASA's JPL Horizon system, which is considered the gold standard for tracking space objects, has been monitoring 3I Atlas for months using data from more than 230 observatories around the world. These calculations are extraordinarily precise, and even considering the margin of error, about 61,000 miles, the correspondence with the Hill radius still holds. 2. Extremely lucky natural outgassing. The second possibility is that 3I Atlas is a natural comet that, when it approached the Sun, began releasing gases and particles, a process called outgassing. These jets of material could have pushed the object exactly in the right direction to hit Jupiter's hill radius. The problem here is that natural outgassing is a chaotic and random process. It depends on where the ice pockets are in the comet, how it's spinning, which side is facing the sun, and dozens of other unpredictable factors. 
Getting a 62,000 mile course correction in the exact direction needed would be like a water jet from a garden sprinkler accidentally pushing a soccer ball into the goal from 100 meters away. 3. Cosmic coincidence. The third explanation, which about 70% of scientists currently agree with, is that this is simply an extraordinarily improbable coincidence. With billions of years of history and countless objects traveling through space, eventually something statistically unlikely was bound to happen. Avi Loeb counters this position by pointing out that we've detected only three interstellar objects so far in all of astronomy's history. The third object hitting a 1 in 26,000 probability is like winning the lottery on your third ticket. Technically possible, but so unlikely that it raises serious questions. 4. Artificial propulsion system. And then there's the explanation that Avi Loeb considers most plausible, that 3i Atlas possesses some form of propulsion system that deliberately adjusted its course to aim at Jupiter's hill radius. Maybe to deploy monitoring devices? Maybe to use Jupiter as a gravitational refueling station? Maybe for some reason that our current science simply cannot comprehend? The obvious problem with this explanation is that we have no direct evidence of any technology. No radio signals, no unusual thermal signatures, no visible propulsion systems. Just the impossible statistical coincidence and the measured acceleration that cannot be explained by known physics. Why? This is fascinating, regardless of the answer. Here's what makes this situation genuinely extraordinary regardless of which explanation ends up being correct. If it's pure coincidence, we've just witnessed one of the most statistically improbable events in astronomy's history. This alone would be remarkable and would force us to rethink our assumptions about probability on cosmic scales. If it's natural outgassing that produced this precise result, then we're observing comet physics we've never seen before. This would revolutionize our understanding of how interstellar objects behave and could teach us fundamentally new things about celestial mechanics. If we're calculating something wrong, identifying and correcting this error would dramatically improve our ability to predict trajectories for all future interstellar visitors, potentially saving space missions and improving our understanding of solar system dynamics. And if there's any technological component, well, that would literally change everything we know about our place in the universe. It would be the first concrete evidence that we're not alone and that other civilizations have technological capabilities sufficient to send objects across interstellar space. In the coming weeks, every available telescope will be focused on this mysterious visitor. The data we collect could answer one of humanity's greatest questions, are we alone in the universe? In March 2026, we'll know whether we witnessed the greatest cosmic coincidence in history or if something far more extraordinary is happening. The intergalactic projectile continues its journey toward the impossible target, and all of humanity is watching. And you, do you believe in impossible cosmic coincidences, or do you think we're seeing something much more extraordinary?